Sam be motherfucking mixing. What's going on? What's going on? What's up with you, boy? Yeah. Man. Usual. Sandy Mixon, Sandy Mixon. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just wanna vibe high. I just wanna vibe high, vibe high. Yeah, yeah. This is Sam B. Mixon of Sam B. Mixon Recordings. I have recording prices ranging from $20 per hour to an eight hour block costing $120. Record Mix Master. Use your time as you will. Book by using the link below. Any other questions? Please call 678-368-5278. Sandy Mixon. Sandy Mix. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, you know, I don't know how long it's been overdue because you just hit me up. You feel me? Uh huh. So, on my birthday. Oh, this your birthday? No, my birthday was Friday when I hit you up. Oh damn! I tried to, I tried to make it, tried to get with it on that uh Friday, but this shit didn't happen. That's all good. Yeah. We making it happen right now, though. Facts. So, um, I'm going to start the shit off. Goddamn. I just heard where you was from. You from Alabama. Correct. How long you been, like, stayed in, in the Met? I've been in Columbia. We came up here, I was probably about nine, nine or eight years old. Hmm. I was probably about nine or eight. Okay, and from nine to eight, like, you know, when you got had, like, nine, was you already into music, or did that come later? No, nah, uh, actually, well, I listened to music, stuff that my mom played, and uh, stuff like that, but I wasn't really, like, heavily into music at that time. So what she played, though? Uh, Prince, Al Green, Aretha Franklin, um, uh, man, we had, uh, Vanilla Ice. What? <laughs> Oh, uh, man, you name it. All the way from uh, 50s music, Sam Cooke, uh, all the way up into the 80s, that golden era, the 80s. Uh, yeah, everything. Okay, now, since you said Sam Cooke, does that, that's, is your name is Automatic Sam, or did you get that from him and uh, put that with the Sam B. Mix and shit? No, nah, actually, I'm named after my father, oh. Samuel. So uh, the Sam B. Mixon actually uh, just came about uh, Cause you know I, I was doing I was an artist first mm -hmm. uh, before I crossed over into engineering and uh, Sam B mixing just just it just came about it, it sounded good and uh, it really stuck so and yeah. you you was an artist like what you was a singer a rapper I started off with spoken word poetry and I was down there in Atlanta when I started doing the poetry. Uh, when I came back home to Columbia, there wasn't too many avenues at that time for spoken word, so I kind of switched over into hip hop. And then from hip hop, I couldn't get the sound that I wanted, so then I started engineering. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then I just fell in love with it so much that I just started uh, doing this like full time. So, who was the first engineer you ever seen before? Like, a local wise and like big time wise? Oh. Uh, Local wise, uh, man, uh, salute the short dog. Like, uh, he probably wasn't. He probably wasn't the first one, but he was definitely. Uh, he definitely played a nice part in my growth. Uh, yeah, so definitely uh, short on the. Uh, I guess you can say the independent of the local stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what about the big time? You you ain't had one big time. Uh, big time. Uh, million dollar Matt. Uh, down there in Atlanta, I think he's still down there in Atlanta. Uh, shout out to my boy Will Power. He down there. They got the studio down there in Atlanta right now, cracking. Uh, yeah. So I guess that's pretty much on the major. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm pretty much. Uh, I pretty much deal with the independent. Yeah. Okay. Now since we on that, I see you like you like at home with it. You know what I'm saying? Like. Facts. Like, why not be in a big studio? There's, there's them different shit is like what? I don't know, man. I just, uh, right now, as far as me, if I go to work for somebody, it has to be the right fit. Uh, I just can't, I can't work for anybody anymore. I've been doing this for so long now. I kind of in my way now and to conform back to that, uh, somebody else's uh, blueprint that's going to be kind of difficult for me, especially if it doesn't fit my goals and things that I want to do and how I network and um, how I deal with artists. So if it, if it don't fit on that end, then I just can't be a part of it. Right. Yeah. 
do you got like a favorite type of style you like to mix? Like, do you like to mix like basically mess with rappers or singers? Man, everybody, man. I'm trying to record everything from uh, gospel to country. Uh, hip hop is my uh, foundation. I want to do animation. I want to do like uh, the recordings for movies, uh, series, all that stuff. You, as long as it has something to do with audio, I want to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what was the most difficult thing you had to learn doing this? Like, is it like you putting the words together on the hook or what? Like, what was the hardest thing you had to learn? Uh, the hardest thing uh, was probably getting the bass right for the club scene. I had mixes that I'd done before, and I played them in the club, and it's empty. Mm. <laughs> and that's probably like the worst feeling that you can ever have is to go to the club and not have your song sound as good as it did uh, coming out of the monitors or it, it was in the car or something like that. So that's probably one of the uh, the, the the most difficult things. But once you get that, uh, you're uh, you're definitely going to increase in business. Because a lot of artists that perform in the clubs, they want their music played in the club. And if you can uh, provide that service to get them signed and right, and then those public spots, man, yeah. Okay. Go. How you got your name out there? Uh, grinding. Just like I said, man, I started I started from the bottom, absolute bottom, and uh, just grinding. And uh, one artist after another, and I just stuck with it and keeping my name and my face good. That's probably another big thing you got to do uh, if if you really want to get your name out there. Because there's two ways you can have your name out there. You can have your name out there on some good shit, or you can have it out there on that fuck shit. Mm. So, uh, and that fuck shit going to stop your business. Uh, believe that. So, uh, definitely trying to keep my face clean, uh, doing right by others, and uh, having others do right by me. So who you say the original artist that come through, man? Uh, original artist, uh, man, started from with, with my dog Hughes, man. I love his music. What kind uh, of what kind of artist he is? Oh uh, man, it, I I can't really put him into a category because uh, he's a rapper, but uh, man, his music is uh, so soulful and advanced. His music is advanced. Like the brother got a song called uh, Science Guy and talking about Bill Nye. <laughs> you feel me? Oh, that's dope. So like. Uh, I, I haven't heard anything, I haven't heard any reference, references like that. He got a song called Goku and all them on his new joint that he just dropped. Uh, Monty, another guy out there from Florence, uh, Bird Daddy Cool Breeze, mm -hmm. representing Columbia, Broad River Road. Okay, uh, both of them, like before you go to uh, Cool Breeze, the, uh, the guy before that, Monty, what kind of artist he is? Uh, Can't category him either? Uh, uh, Monty, man, he's, uh, man, he's out there because the brother can sing, he can sing. Harmonize and he can rap, and uh, I only had to hear him one time, and I knew he was uh, I knew he had something special, and bruh been turning up since. I think he's only been rapping for like a year and a half now, and uh, he's already doing shows. Uh, man, he got like eleven visuals out, <laughs> yeah. and just just stacking them up, man. So he's really doing this shit. Uh, super salute to them. Uh, Bird Daddy Cool Breeze. He's more of a, of a philosopher. Uh, educated gangster. Hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, educated for real. And uh, he, he, uh, he can, he can get down with you, or he can take you up. So it's, it's uh, either way. Um, uh, yeah, man. Just I just have so many, so many that come through. Like already this year, man. We already done recorded almost two hundred artists. Damn. Yeah, and uh, we still got about what four more months left in this year. Yeah. So we've been working, yeah, man. So, so what you want out this shit though? You just trying to be like the best, um, you know, engineer, or you just trying to get some money and be rich? Like, what you trying to do? At the end of the day, I want to use this to set up other businesses. I want to, um, I when I'm all said and done with this, I want to be recording movies and letting the studio generate for itself. One thing that I really wanted to do was give people who couldn't afford um, uh, the top quality, to go to the top quality studios, I wanted them to be able to have top quality music. So uh, that's one of my things, is just to have a, a fully functional studio, reasonable prices for them. Um, and man, I got uh, plans to help the homeless, 
just all type of things. Uh, but that's just all in due time. That's all in due time. And it's going to start with this music. That's the basis. Okay. Yeah. Okay. See, you, you kind of like spiritual. Like, you be, you know, you sit, I think I seen you sitting in Indian style outside. You know what yeah, I'm man. saying? Like, what's that about, bro? Oh, really, man? Like, I always been spiritual. It's just now, um, it's just, I guess, catching up with me now. Uh, I guess I'm now finally just going through that threshold because like I can remember back when I was younger when I had kind of thoughts like this but uh, didn't know the avenues to take so now I'm kind of finding all that good stuff and uh, uh, Indian style is, is just mainly just uh, yoga man I really started uh, doing the yoga about two three months ago I already had it planned that uh, first I was going to change my eating and I've been doing my uh, eating for like two years now, so now I'm completely vegan. Uh, unless I choose to eat some other shit, but nine times out of ten, you know. Not gonna do that. You, there's repercussions for that shit. Yeah, you're gonna feel that shit. Uh, so just really just getting my, uh, my, my inside right, and now I'm just working on the outside with the yoga. Just becoming more flexible, uh, being able to move a little better, being able to uh, uh, hear God a little better too. Good. Yeah, all that stuff, all that stuff, it goes together. Okay, okay. Did you uh, ever have any problems in the studio before? Like, people be on some, like, on some Bogart type shit? What you mean by Bogart? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They come in the studio like they own the shit. You feel uh, me? Yeah, but, you know, that's just coming from, like, like, once you break down those barriers, man, people are good. You know what I'm saying? Some people, they they... They they are a certain way because they've been through certain things, and that's for like everybody. So it's like it's once you talk to people, and once they understand that you're not trying to fuck them over or some shit, you know, most people, uh, they they just fall back. Mm. Uh, yeah. The craziest thing I I seen though, kind of with that Bogart shit, is uh, it, it was kind of sad too, cause the artist, when the artist started rapping. Like, they had to pull out their money so they could feel confident. <laughs> to, uh, oh, shit. That's to, crazy. To get fuck. through their verse, you know what I'm saying? And that was, like, that was probably, like, the strangest thing that I've seen. But it, it really just, it's, all a part, it's all a part of that culture, man. And, uh, you know, everybody, you just got to find yourself. Be comfortable with yourself. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of comfortable with yourself, did you go through a time that you were like, man, fuck this goddamn music shit, bro. I'm about to do some other shit. And that's the thing, I never, I never did. I, I never had that phase. Uh, I was like, fuck my job at this time. I'm trying to get to this music shit. Uh, but I never once had that time. There, there have been times where I, like, I just took a break or something like that. Or, or just chill out, go do some stuff for myself when I wasn't doing music 24-7. Uh, because I, you got to find that balance. You got to find that balance. But there's never been a time that I just been like, fuck this music shit. Uh, nah, this this music has been too good to me. Like mm. I've been doing this since 2010. Uh, yeah, the music has took me different places, introduced me to people. Uh, I, I love it. It's, it's uh, yeah. So from 2010 to right now, what is so different about you now? Like from like your knowledge and your equipment and all that shit. Oh uh, the. Like when I first started off, I ain't no shit. I had some pictures <laughs> of like of EQing and shit that I did before, and I was like, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. But uh, it's all trial and error. Uh, definitely investing in myself. Like I learned that shit. Like I tried that that point in time to like uh, nickel and dime it through it, but you can't nickel and dime. You got to give it your all. And then once you give it your all, uh, it's gonna is going to uh, return the favor. It's just like, uh, they always talk about the basketball gods. I think like LeBron and them always talk about that, or Kobe, somebody. They mm -hmm. talk about the basketball gods. You be faithful to the basketball god, the basketball god going to bless you. So it's the same thing. Same thing. You give it your all, you're going to get uh, better results. Okay, okay. As far as the music scene around here, versus like, when you went to Atlanta a while ago, like, is there any difference? And see, that's the thing, like, um, I wasn't really into the hip hop. I was more into the spiritual scene with it. Uh, when I was down there in Atlanta, 
So like I missed all the other shit. Like all the shit that everybody be talking about going to the A. I wasn't even I was nowhere part of that. Uh it was straight grinding down there. <laughs> it was straight grinding. Uh the the music scene now in Columbia and South Carolina in general is just bustling. It's good, man, to see like just from uh, 2010 just to see how many people are uh, investing in themselves they have uh, merchandise uh, people have uh, we got videos now the audio quality is catching up with the video quality because for a point in time we had like hard ass videos but the sound wasn't matching up with it so like everything is just coming together and it's cohesive and uh, man it's, it's just the best place to be right now I believe with the music I, I don't I don't remember, uh, uh, and I and just like I said, like I haven't been around uh, all the music scenes. I don't know all the top people. Like even I had Young LA come here. I didn't even know who Young LA was oh, until shit. like after the fact uh, that he was here. So like uh, stuff like that. It's just real humble with it. So yeah. So is there anything you want to get off your chest, dog? Um, get out of my chair. Mm -hmm. Um, I just want to say, well, damn, I ain't really got nothing to really get You ain't got chair. nothing on your I chest. Everybody I, got something on their chest, now. Man, it's, this thing has just been so beautiful. It's just been such a beautiful journey. Just the transition uh, from, like, where I started off from to, like, where I'm here now. Like, I'm a father now, mm. and I see, like, so much good. So, uh, something that's just really aggravating me or just really on my chest or something that I really got to say that's going to move, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have that, man. Uh, beyond, man, y'all just come shop with me yeah. if you want, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh man, just real we just real low key with it, man. Uh humble with it, man. Just come in, get your music done, man. We're gonna try to push you to the best of our ability. Um I'm I'm really looking forward to the future with this and just so many plans and stuff that like just this music stuff is gonna take us. Like my family and just being able to help other people from this. So man, this is a, a great honor, a great uh, responsibility. It's a great position that I've been put in, and uh, work hard for this. So, man, I'm just I'm just eager just to see what's all gonna happen, man. Like the next, I think like the next five ten years in Columbia is gonna be just beautiful as far as the music scene.